Okay, so we're going to start with that loop band. Put it right between those hands. All right, loop bands are optional, and sometimes you may want to grab weights instead of a loop band. The legs are as wide as our frame. We're going to squat down. We're going to reach those arms forward and return. Inhale and exhale. A lot of classes I start with squats. I love squats. They're good for not only our physical health, but our mental health. How do you like that? I inhale and I exhale. My band is staying tight. I feel those back muscles, shoulders working. Four more. We'll go for four. And three. And two. Stay back and hold. Tension on that band. Palms turned in. I'm going to bend the elbows and straighten. Bend and straighten. Five. Four. I'm still in that little chair squat. Three. Two. And one. Now my face will go down and up. Down and up. Six. Five. Make sure your knees and toes are facing straight ahead. Three. Two. Hold. Little push out. 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 Lock those arms nice and straight. Connect those shoulders to your back. And we'll go for four. Three. Two. And one. The legs. Eight. And seven. And six. Five. Here's four. And three. And two. And one. Take the legs nice and wide. I'm going to grab that band now and hold the ends. Okay. And we're going to do a little plie. Pull the thumb towards the armpits. Bring the band back and stand up. So I'll bend, pull, release, come up. Make sure those shoulders are away from those ears. Pull that navel in and up. That's right. We go down, we pull, release, bring it up. On the up, try not to lock your knees, engage those inner thighs. Down, pull, in, release. Two more. And give me one more. And pull and release. Okay, I'm going to turn. I'm going to warm up these legs a little more. I'm going to reach those arms nice and long. And again, my palms are turned in. I'm going to lower, hold, reach the arms up and down. Down, up, lift, and lower. Up and down. Make sure that your front knee is over the ankle and your spine is tall, like it's up against a wall. Two more. Bring it up. And one more. And bring it up. Step in and the other leg will come back. Back far enough that this knee can be over the ankle. My back heel is raised and both knees are facing straight ahead. We inhale, exhale. I hold that lunge, lift up and down. Lower that knee, lift, up, and down, down, and up, and down. Three more. Two more. And one more. <laughs> and then we step in and we'll connect those heels into a Pilates V. I'm going to draw my chin to my chest. I'm going to start to peel off that wall. Rounding, scooping, exhaling. From the core, pull yourself up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And again, chin to chest. <coughs> then the shoulders peel off that wall. Then the rib cage. That's it. Hold right here. See if the fingers can touch the mat. Bend those knees, and then straighten those legs. Bend the knees, straighten the legs. Inhale, exhale. Think of rounding that spine as you straighten those legs. Two more, one more. Good, bend those knees. I'm gonna take my hands through that band. Yep, take those hands flat to the mat and step back into a plank. Keeping that band nice and tight. Tuck that tail. Modified plank is fine. Forearm plank is fine. Plug the shoulders into your back. Tuck the tail. 
Send it nice and long. Pull the belly in strong. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower to your knees. Flatten the feet. I'm in a nice long line, this nice long diagonal. Squeezing lemons in those armpits, driving that navel in deeper. And hold for four, and three, and two, and one, and stretch it back. Take a couple breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Bring it back to a quadruped position. You can stay here like this. You can walk those knees back into a modified plank, or you can go back into that full plank. Good. I'm going to take my right foot out, then my right hand out, then my right hand in, and my right foot back in. My left foot goes out, left arm, left arm comes back in, and right. Now, if you're modified, you could just do the arms if you want, taking it out and in. Okay? So I'll go. Right hand, right foot, hand comes in, foot comes in. Foot goes out, hand goes out, hand goes in, bring it back in. Foot, hand, hand, foot, one more, out, out, in, and in, and release. All right, take that band away from those hands and take those hands behind me and curl my fingertips to my wrist. Good. Back onto your seat we go. All right. So I'm going to take that band, and I'm going to take it behind my feet. And the band needs to be tight. So depending on what kind of band you got, what kind of resistance you got, it's how wide your feet will go. All right, so I'm going to reach those arms nice and long, plug the shoulders to the back. I'll start to inhale, melting my waistline. Exhale all the way down. Arms are straight up over the chest. Nod that chin to your chest. Inhale. Two exhale. I'm going to push against that band as I round over. Bring it back. Inhale to start. Exhale to melt. Nod that chin. No dragging that head. Inhale. And you don't have to come all the way up. You don't have to go all the way down. Keep that chin to your chest. Keep your eyes to your navel. And we bring it back up. Inhaling. And exhaling. This time I'm going to come back. I'm going to hold halfway down and place my forearms to open up that chest. I'm going to lengthen my legs. Keeping those shoulders connected to your back. Neck is free of strain. I'm going to take one knee in. Take it out, other knee in, and take it out. I'm exhaling as I come in. You are more than welcome to lay all the way down on your back if this is not working for you. I don't feel any strain to my shoulders or my neck. And I feel that core driving in with that knee. And remember, props are always optional. So if you don't like the loop band, don't use it. And we're going to go two more each leg. Move with control. One more. Good. I'm going to take one arm off. Take the other arm off. And lie the rest of the way down. My legs are straight. Palms face forward. Shoulders heavy. Nod the chin to your chest. Start to reach those fingertips towards your toes. Push against that band to come up, and the arms are parallel to the floor. The arms should be right next to your ears, and your back should be rounded. Inhale, start to come back. Push against that band, and exhale. <clears throat> Flex those heels. Nod that chin to your chest, and then inhale. Find that lower back. Exhale, 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 exhale. So remember, you're staying rounded. And the arms should be dropping down. They're right here parallel. And again, inhale to exhale. And we nod. Eyes and navel. Push against that band. And we come back, melting those shoulders, inhaling and exhaling. We're going to reach the arms behind us. Feel that nice length in the whole body. 
Circle those arms around slowly and then hug those knees into your chest. And the band is still behind your feet. So let's make sure that we're not lifting that chin up to the ceiling. You want to be able to fit that fist between the chin and the chest. I'm going to cue eyes to belly. You don't have to take your head up. I'm going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, nod the chin to my chest. I'm going to take my hands behind my head, elbows are wide, and hand over hand. So my knees are pretty close. I feel that lower back being supported on my mat. My left foot is going to push out. My right knee stays pulling in, okay? Bring it back in, pause. And then the right foot out and bring it in. You can have your head down and you can put your hands under your seat to protect your lower back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Reach long, pull the belly in strong. Beautiful. Make sure that leg when you're pressing out is right in line with that hip. And I go for four. Three. Good. Two. And one. And I'm gonna take my hands to my shins, release my head. If you feel strain to your neck, look to each side of the mat. I'm gonna slide that band to my ankles now. Good. And I'm gonna pull those knees closer if you are able. Nod your chin to your chest, get your shoulder blades off the mat. I'll put my hands behind my head again, and I'm gonna press my legs out. You can choose higher or lower. I'm gonna push against my band, release, and then come back in. You can put your head down at this time, and then bring it back up if you'd like. We're gonna press out, out to a V, return, back in, out, now push those legs apart, bring them back in, and return. And you want your back to stay heavy. I should not be able to fit fingers underneath your back to that mat. Three more, out, press, in, return. Two more, inhale, exhale, inhale. You gotta stay strong in that lower body as well. Give me one more, one more. Pushing that in, exhale, and then release and hug it in. Checking with those shoulders, your neck, your back. Again, if you need that neck release, look to each side. Good. So I'm gonna slide that band up again to the quads and my legs are gonna come straight up. You're more than welcome to have your head down, arms to your side. If you want more support to your back, Put your hands under your seat. I'm going to be taking my head up so my hands will go back behind my head. I'm in a Pilates stance up here. I'll inhale to prepare. Exhale, nod and chin to your chest. And we're going to do these little scissors. My right leg will come forward and then my left. Bam. You want to stay equal distance from the center with both legs. So one shouldn't be going way down and the other hardly coming towards you. I'm going to add my hands and a push, push, push. I'm pushing that leg into my hands, the hands into the leg. Good. Pull. Straighter legs. You don't have to ever have your head lifted. You don't have to use your hands. They can stay under your seat. Eight. Six. Four. Two. And one. Relax the neck and relax those shoulders. Nicely done. All right, so we're gonna take the feet down to the floor. I'm gonna take my hands under my seat to protect that lower back. I'm gonna slide my legs out straight. If you're able, and if not, don't do it, I'm gonna nod my chin to my chest, and I'm gonna bring my toes in the same plane as my eyes, and I'm gonna do these little out, in, out, out, out. These little quick little jumping jacks. Out, 
out. Never go wider than your mat on these. Out, out. Lower abdominal should be rolling in and up. Shoulders and neck relaxed. If you need a break, you take it. Hug those knees in if you need it. And we go four, three, two, one, and release. Woo. Hopefully you felt those lower abdominals working. We'll take our feet back down to the floor. Legs are as wide as that band is tight. Hand over hand behind that head. Elbows are wide. And again, I'm going to keep reminding you, you don't have to ever lift your head. If you want, we're going to curl that chin to our chest, shoulder blades off the mat. The right knee is going to drive in. Then you're just going to tap those toes. And I'm going to come right back up. Tap those toes. Exhale. Resist that leg pushing towards you. And it's just the same leg. It's just my right leg driving in. And my left foot is pushing into the floor, giving me feedback on that side of my body. Three more. Take your time. We never move fast. Two. Now I want you to hold this one up. I want you to press that leg out. And when you come back in, rotate the opposite shoulder towards that leg. And I'll take it out. You can keep your head off the mat, or you can lower it down and then bring it up. So you're going to pick what's working for you today. Try to have those elbows in a long line. Don't get caught hugging that back elbow around that head. Drive it in. Out and in. Two more. One more. Press it out. Lower your head and bring that leg up and get a little stretch. Relax those shoulders. And then put that leg down. I'll take the hands back behind my head. If you're lifting your head and the arms to your side. So I'm going to curl up with the left knee coming forward. Just those toes will touch. And I come back up. And I'm taking my time. And I'm lifting the upper body off the mat from the core, not my hands. Your hands are only there to support that head. Take your time. Feel your back getting heavier as you're crunching up and lifting that leg. Now I'm going to hold this one up. I want you to reach that leg long. As it comes back in, the opposite shoulder is going to rotate. And I press out, inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, drive. And you can put your head down in between each one. You can keep your head up. You never have to lift your head. Three more. But you must pay attention to that back and where it's at. Hold this one here. Lower your head. Bring that leg up and give me a little stretch. Relax the neck and shoulders, please. Good. Then we're going to take two feet down to the floor. And the arms will be right next to the rib cage. And again, you want the band tight. So if the legs are too close, the band will be working against those outer thighs and outer hips. We're going to peel our spine up off that mat into a bridge. I'm going to tuck that tail, and I'm going to bring it up. And as I'm coming up, my shoulders push down, the back of my arms push down. And I'll lower vertebrae by vertebrae. And we'll tuck that tail, and we'll lift up. Scoop that belly, press through those feet, squeeze your seat. And then melt back down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck that tail. Press the back of the head firmly into the mat. Here's my inhale. And here's my exhale. Five, four, three. I'm going to add on to this one. Let's tuck that tail. Scoop and lift. Now on the exhale, let's take the right leg to a tabletop. And we'll hold it right here. 
So you're going to press that leg out. I'm going to lower my bridge and draw the knee back in and everything lifts up. Bam. I'll press out, lower. Everything lifts. I lower, push it out. Exhale, drive it in. Now make sure that that left leg is staying very still. It's not flopping around. Four. And three. Two. One. Hold it here. My leg is going to go to the right, back to center. To the right, back to center. Nothing else can move. So anchor everything down. And it's just a little going out and in. I'm not going crazy. Four. Does somebody feel something? Three. Yes? Two. Is that you? And one. Put that foot down. Fix your bridge. Okay. Tabletop that left leg. So you're going to straighten that leg or lower the bridge. Inhale. Exhale. Drive it in. Inhale out. Push through the back of that body. Whatever's touching the mat is an anchor. We don't rush. You guys know that. Make sure the hips and the pelvis in a straight line. Use your breath. We go for three, two, and one. Now lock it in place. You can always lower your hips. We're gonna go away and in. It's tiny. Squeeze the abdominals. Keep everything else still. I go for four. Don't move fast. And three. And two. And one. Put that foot down. Fix your bridge. Reach the arms behind you. Take a nice big inhale. Keep the arms. But exhale, lower your spine. Articulate. Take your time. Take your time. Melt, melt, melt. Sweep those arms around and hug those knees in. Okay, let's rock ourselves up. Bam. Slide that band down and off. It's going to go back into our hands. All right, so I want you to take your legs like a diamond. And I'm going to hold on to my band again. I'm going to start with an inhale here. So your hips are going, aha, thank you. Inhale. And on the exhale, I'm going to round back. Keep those arms straight. Keep the shoulders down. I've got tension on that band with my upper body now. So my right leg is going to go towards that band and return. Again, right leg up. Shoulders are down. Back is round. If you need it, put the ball to that lower back and lean into your ball. That would take some of that pressure and strain off that lower back. Three more from counting right. Three, keep that band tight. And two. And one. I'll round up once my shoulders are over my hips. I'm going to sit tall. My right arm is going to pull back while my left arm stays. And it comes back out. Bam. So one arm is staying locked. The other arm is rowing. Let's do four more here. Four. And three. Good. It's like a bow and arrow. Pull it back. Two. And one. Chin to chest, eyes and navel, shoulders down. Exhale, come back halfway and lock it in. Keeping that band nice and tight, palms turned in, the left leg. Lifting first from the core, then the hip and the thigh. But first you focus on that core. Nice and slow, please. Don't move fast. And I take it for four. Good. Three. And two. And one. We round up. Once the shoulders are over the hips, we stack. Make sure the shoulders are connected. Bow and arrow. Pull with the left elbow. And the right arm stays locked. Drive it back. And press more on those heels. Feel those thighs engaging. And four, try to step taller. Three, 
two more, one more, good, and I'll lower my arms, I'm going to straighten my leg as wide as my mat, and I'm going to take my hands back inside that loop band, palms turned in, pressing against that band, shoulders deep, crease at the hips, if you need to, bend your knees to sit up taller, but this, this is not sitting up tall, this is not going to help you, you want to be as tall as you can get. We're going to inhale, grow even taller. On the exhale, nod the chin to your chest and start to reach the arms across the table as the navel pulls back. Inhale, squeeze everything that you've got. Shoulders go down. Exhale, <coughs> nod that chin to your chest. Scoop that belly. Inhale up. <coughs> Shoulders down. Exhale. Inhale, feel the strength in that core zipping you up. Exhale. Give me one more. We'll inhale here and we will exhale there. Round it back up and relax those arms. I want you to bend your knees and I'm going to grab back onto that band now with fists on each end of that band. And again, this is one we're going to be rounding back. So if your back is feeling tired, put a, a toss pillow, a ball, or stay more upright. Okay, we're going to do a bicep curl. So I'm going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, I'm going to round back. Okay, so my, my right palm is going to curl in while my left arm stays locked out. Curl. Curl. You can even angle this left arm down. That's it. And we go for four. Squeeze that bicep. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Lengthen those arms. Lengthen your spine. Inhale here. Exhale. Round all the air out of your center. Mold yourself into a big tractor tire. The right arm stays straight. The left palm is going to be facing the ceiling. And I drive it. One and two. You can have the arm straight out. You can have it angled down. But the shoulders need to be connected to your back. And three. And two. And one. Round it up. And sit tall. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it back. Legs closer together. I want you to reach the right leg out. The right bicep's going to curl again. And I'm going to lift my leg. One. And two. And three. And we go for four, good, three, yes, two, one, reach out, round it up, sit tall, inhale, exhale, round back, the left leg is going to straighten, are we ready for that left bicep, here we go, one, and two, control, yes, Four. Four more. Melt those shoulders. Watch that wrist. Your wrist should not be going like this, holding that band. It's got to stay straight. Look at your wrist for a second. Make sure it is. One more. And then reach. Round it up. And now take that band against your shins and sit super tall. And feel like you're going to arch your back. And then round forward towards your feet. And we're going to go onto our stomachs. And I want you to take that band to the lower body. Oh my. Okay. They couldn't wait till after class, huh? All right, let's on to our bellies. There's no grass right there, so I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> okay, so the legs are apart, and I have it behind my feet. Okay, so behind your feet. My hands slide underneath my armpits. So I'm going to start my traditional swan. So relax the neck and shoulders. I'm going to give a little push with that nose with a marble. And then I'll lift up the chest, the head's along for the ride. Squeeze your bum. And then come back down and pull your belly button away from the mat. So try to have no part of your arm on your mat. Slide your hands further back. Yep. Drive through those hands. Lift up. Melt the shoulders. Squeeze your seat. Now, as I lower my chest, I want you to bring the legs up off the floor. And then seesaw up, inhale, exhale. 
and we lift it up, and then we roll it down. You better be squeezing your booty, and then breaking it down, and lifting it up, bringing it down, one more, and then release the legs. Make a pillow with your hands. Legs are apart, the navel is pulling in in the tail. Your tail should try to reach long, okay? We're gonna take the right leg off the floor, put it down, and then the left. So do me a favor, relax the upper body, relax those shoulders and neck, put it all into that lower body. Here we go, lift, lower. So whatever is on the mat, is pushing into the mat as that leg lifts up. The hips and the pelvis should just be laying there. Lift and lift and lift. Now one more, and I'm gonna change this a little bit. I want you to reach those arms long. And as I lift my right leg, my head and chest, and my left arm will lift. So it's right leg, left arm. Here we go. Lift up, come down. Right hand, left foot. I'll inhale up, exhale down. Take your time, and again, whatever is not lifting is pushing as an anchor. You never have to lift your head. If you've got shoulder issues, don't have the arms out like that. Squeeze your bum. So I'm going to take two arms, two legs, squeeze your seat, everything comes in. Now I'm going to pull my elbows back, my legs are going to push out. I retrace my steps and come back down. Let's try that again. Lift up, out, in, release. Squeeze your booty, pull the belly in, and up, open, in. Inhale, two, exhale. If you need a break, you go back in that child's pose position. <coughs> Give me one more. <coughs> Good. And then stretch it back. Whew. Scoop that belly. Round that back. You deserve that. Okay. Let's go into a quadruped position, hands and knees. You think you're halfway there? Yes, you are. You're more than halfway there, so let's go. Connect the shoulders to your back. Now you are more than welcome to keep one knee down and you stretch the other leg back. So here's what I would do. If I have a shoulder issue, I'm not feeling real strong today, my back is feeling kind of wonky, you will keep this way. Next level, I'm gonna draw that navel in. I'm gonna squeeze lemons in those armpits, and I'm gonna bring my knees off the floor. I'm gonna go right leg, left leg, right, stay strong, left, right, left, <coughs> right. Next variation, I'm gonna go right, hold it back there, add the left, and then come back in with the right and come back in with the left. Now lead with the left foot this time. Go left, right, left, right. Now lead with the right foot. Out, out, in, in, left foot. And your booty, can I go blind, is it? Should not be going up like this at any time. Here we go out. But there's no mirrors, so we don't know what our booty's doing. And last one. Good. And then lower it down and stretch back. Release those wrists, fingertips to the wrists. Okay, that was fun. So let's go back into a quadruped. Now if your wrists are getting cranky and your shoulders are getting cranky, I want you to come down to here, okay? But before you get in that position, we're gonna keep the left foot with a band behind it. On the right side, I'm gonna slide that band just to the ankle. Okay, so my right foot's gonna stay solid. The left foot is going to come up and then down. Up, 
and down. So depending on how tight that band is, you may not have a big range of motion, but don't straighten it. Lift it up, keep it like a tennis ball with behind that knee. There you go. And we lift it up and up. You can also, again, remember, you can be on your forearms. You cannot use a band at all. You can stand up with your hands on a countertop and moving that leg. You can put a weight behind that knee. So many different ways to do every exercise. But make sure you're keeping your back safe, your hips safe, shoulders and neck, and you are working that left glute. And three. And two. And one. Start with it now with the left side on the ankle, the right side behind the foot. Before we start, I want you to flip those palms up for a second. I didn't want us to get messed up on what foot we were on. Okay. Again, forearms or extended arms. Are we ready? Right leg. Up and down. Make sure your standing leg is not flopping over. <clears throat> That's right. Take your time. And you got to squeeze muscles that should be working. So it's the glute, right? Of course, the hamstring is going to be there. Shoulders are connecting to your back. And your head should not be hanging heavy. The crown of the head should be reaching out nice and long. So watch, make sure your neck is in alignment. And squeeze. And squeeze. Does anybody feel their glute? Uh -huh. Just one? Yes. <laughs> anybody else awake? Okay. <laughs> Don't want to talk to me, but it's all right. It's all right. Can you give me four more? And we go for four. And three. And two. And one. Take it both against the ankles. We'll stretch back and bring those arms behind you. That was lovely. Okay. So I want you to go back out onto your forearms. And the band's going to stay against your ankles. You're more than welcome to stay here. If this is so challenging for you, next level, we'll bring the knees back into that modified plank. Notice that my butt is not in the air because if my butt is in the air, my abdominals are not engaging. Yes, so tuck your tail. So I don't want this little happy butt. Strong one. You can also take those knees off the mat. Hold this forearm plank for me for eight, seven, six, five, four. Get those hips up. Three, better. Two, reset. Knees to the floor. Pull that navel in. You can stay with your knees or drive it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Knees reset. Shoulders check in. Scoop, lift if you're able. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch back. Okay, we're going to our side. I'm a creature of habit, so I always start with my head on this side. So I'm going to spin you around. Spin around, I'm going to slide that band up to my thighs. All right. So you can be propped up. You can be here. You can be propped up and here. So pick what's gonna work for you. You can even lie all the way down on your arm, okay? So pick what's working. Knees are towards the top edge of the mat. This rib cage, whether you're lying on your side or you're propped up, this needs to be engaged. This needs to be pulling in. And the shoulder needs to be connecting. <clears throat> if you wanna stop yourself from coming forward, you're more than welcome to put your hands here. If not, you can put them behind your head. <clears throat> Go where it feels the best to you. So I'm going to take my top leg and lift it exactly like my bottom leg. Then I'm going to take this leg, straighten it out. 
I'm going to bring it back over the other leg and lower it back down. So I'm seeing collapsing, pull that bottom rib cage in. I lift up, push in the tush, back in and lower. Up, out, and everything faces straight ahead. Shoulder over shoulder, hip in line with hip. <clears throat> push it out, bring it in and lower. Taking your time, you wanna feel everything here working, do we? And up. So if it's bottom your shoulder or neck, you've got to lie on your side. Don't be propped up. Two more. Bam. Reach in. Now on my last one, I want you to hold it right here. Then we're going to lower the leg and lift. <clears throat> exhale up. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen that rib cage. Connect the shoulder to your back. You're going to keep hearing me say that because it's so important. Down, push that bottom leg into the mat. Woo, can you feel these? Lift. <clears throat> Don't get to breathe, real straight leg. And three, and two. Hold this one up, I'm gonna go to the top of my mat, towards the back, towards the top, towards the back. Top, oh my, what a burn. Am I the only one who feels that? And three, woo, and two, woo, and one, and bring it in. I'm gonna come down, knees are towards that top edge still, and we're gonna do clams. Up and down. So we always have opposition, that bottom leg is pushing down as we're lifting up. I'm keeping my free arm next to that rib cage to keep me pulling in. Good. Can we go for eight? I feel that burn. Seven. Hope you do too. Six. Five. Keep it going. Four. And three. Good. And two. And one. I'm just going to lengthen that leg. Your free hand. I'm going to lift it up and I'm just going to rotate. Good. And then bring it back in. Other side. Come on, let's go. Before you know, it's like, oh no, rush. You pick what position you want to be in with your upper body. Okay. Connect the shoulder, pull that rib cage in. Yes. So we're going to lift this top leg. Push it out, right over it, and lower. So we're gonna go slow. One, two, three, four. Keep this lifted, keep this connected. <clears throat> All the lower body, the core are working here. And in. If it doesn't feel good to your hip, you can choose which part of this you do, and you can also choose to not use your band. Make sure your band is not too close to your knees, and never have them on your knees. <coughs> and in, and out. Bam. Out, in, and up, out, in. You're looking good, looking strong. Make sure you lift that top leg, it's not too high. You wanna be directly like the bottom leg. Right. Three more. Yowza. <clears throat> Two more. <sighs> Make sure that bottom rib cage, no matter where you are. Now hold this one out. <sighs> and here we go. Down. Up. Lower. Shh. If you get cranky, lower it down. <sighs> Smile, this is doing such good things for you. It feels good, convince yourself. Four, oh, we look so happy right now. Three, there we go. Two, hold it up. We go front, rear, front. That belly's gonna be pulling in because something is moving. We pull it in and up. Tap and tap. Four more, woo! And three, yep, and 
two, and one, stack, and I'm gonna lower down. You can lay all the way in the arm, you can stay propped, hang tight. So your knees are towards the top edge of that mat, that bottom rib cage, where should it be? What's the word looking for? Lifted, yeah, pull it in, pull it in, don't collapse. Okay, here we go. Clam. Oh my. Usually this feels pretty good, it's a nice exercise. And right now it's like, oh my, it's not my friend. Mm -hmm. Lift and lower. Relax the shoulders because when there's tension in the body and muscles are working, we so tend to do this. Don't catch yourself. Keep it down. Keep the core pulling in that bottom rib cage. Lighten it up. How about that bottom leg and bottom foot? Push it down. And six. Yeehaw. Five. <clears throat> Four, you're almost there. Three, no rocking, keep those hips still. Two, and one. I'm gonna lengthen that leg, my free hand's gonna lift me up, and I'll turn away from that hip. Shoulders are melted, lengthening that spine. And bring it back in. Okay, swing your legs around. That wasn't so bad. Keep the legs against the band. Walk your feet further out. Reach those arms into a diagonal. And my spine is in a diagonal. And I want to grab your ball. And you want to take it back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nod that chin to your chest. Slowly bring it up. And as you're coming up, drive the right knee towards you. Put it down as you roll back. Next time I come up, it will be my left leg. Nod the chin to your chest. Inhale. Two. Exhale. Good. Bring it back. Inhale. Two. Exhale. Nod that chin. Never drag your head off the floor. Bring it up. Slowly bring it back down. Melting that spine. Don't let those hamstrings work too hard. Drive the left. Bringing it back, tucking and melting. And nod that chin. You don't have to bring that knee in at all. Lower it down. Nod that chin. Now I'm going to come back onto my forearms. I'm going to drive both knees in. Open up that chest. And I'm going to tap and bring it in. So just my heels are going to tap. Yeah, I'm not going to let my pelvis go like this and my rib cage pop. Everything is going to stay still. And down. Up. Down. Up. Move with so much control that if I took a video from your waist to the crown of your head, I wouldn't be able to tell that the lower body is moving. So if you move with control and purpose, it's a lot harder. Isn't it? And four. Take your time. <clears throat> Three. Mm -hmm. And two. One. Now I'm going to push through my hands and come up. Straighten. Open up that chest. Stay just as tall. If you're able to, and maybe you want to keep your hands back here, I'm going to take those hands off. I'm going to press out with both legs and come in, out, in. So I'm in like that teaser at the top position. If you want it, you put your hands back here and lengthen. That's gonna help you stay out of that lower back and give you support. Good. Nice. Seven. Six. Five. Bam. Four. Mm -hmm. Three. Two, I'm going to hold this one up and I'm going to round back. My hands will come together. I'm going to push out as I curl up. I push out as I curl up. So put yourself inside that tractor tire and round your spine. Push against the band. Release it as you come back. As I come up, I'm driving it out. Making more room for those hands. Yes. 
eights, you can have that play ball behind you, right? <clears throat> or a toss pillow. Four more, you know I always lose count, but we're gonna go with four. And three, two more, two, and one, straighten your legs and reach forward. And round, and relax the neck, and relax those shoulders. Hopefully that went okay. From your belly, stack your spine. Back up and relax those shoulders. I'm gonna take that band back down again. I'm gonna put it behind my feet. I'm gonna swing my feet behind me and come into a quadruped position. The band gets all messed up, just fix it when you're back here. Keep it tight. So we're gonna squeeze lemons in those armpits. Now modification will be staying like this and just driving. See how I just tap my toes and drive my knee forward? This is modified. This is always having a knee and a foot on the ground. Harder, I'm gonna take both legs back. I'm in my plank position, my band is tight. I'll drive my knee in, and then the other side. So when it does not work for you anymore, you lower to your knees and you just continue to up again. And when you drive the knee forward, it's the belly working, it's the exhale. Good. I like to pause for a second and make sure I feel those abdominals contracting. Eight, woo, seven, getting warmer. Six, try to keep more weight in the core, in the belly versus the hands. Am I on just two more, yes? No, no, it's counts. You guys have not learned your lesson yet, huh? <laughs> and stretch back. Curl those fingertips to the wrist. You made it. And that wasn't so bad. Give me a couple extra breaths here and reach even longer. I'm gonna let my knees go out further. I'm gonna take my hands behind me. I'm just gonna clasp them and reach those arms longer. My head can rest on the mat, or you could have a pillow. Yes, just let those shoulders relax. Let the neck relax. This is a great stretch, great rest position. Great place to go to at the end of the day. And just be like this for five to 10 minutes. And it really would be very beneficial for all of us. And I'm gonna release my hands back down and bring myself back up. Okay, so I'm gonna take that loop band off and you're gonna turn and face me. Hello. All right, love to see your smiling faces. So I'm gonna take this band, put it down. You're gonna mirror me. So I'm gonna take one leg out. It doesn't mean that I lean forward. I want you to push your hips towards the front of the room and this leg should be in line with your hips. So I'm gonna take my arms out like this little T. And I'm gonna tilt and let this hand come down to the floor. And this one's gonna go behind my head. And I wanna feel like I'm trying to lift this hip up towards the ceiling, okay? And you can just hold this position. You can just lift the leg a little bit. I'm gonna try to come to parallel and then lower. And lift. Isn't it nice you're not pushing against that band? It should be like it's so easy to lift that leg up, yes? Three, maybe. Two, now I want you to hold this one up, bend the knees, you're gonna flex the foot, reach it back out, and then drop it down. Up. Kick, long and lower. Up, kick. Now if your neck's getting cranky, looking straight ahead, feel free to look down that mat. Good. Up, kick. Lots of muscles are working here in this one little exercise. Give me one more. Up, kick, up, bring it down. I'll push up and I'll come back up to my T. Do a little side stretch. And I'll come back up and I'll side stretch other direction. Keeping those hips still though. Bringing them back up. Dropping the arms and bringing that knee in. And now the other leg. In line with your hip. The back heel should be directly in line with the back of that knee. Push the hips forward. Open up everything. Lift up. Palms face down. 
I go to this lovely diagonal. Then I go to that mat. Hand goes behind the head. I think my hip is reaching up the ceiling. Lock the shoulders down. And we lift up and lower. Same speed up, same speed down. <clears throat> Good. Bam. You can do these standing up, pointing onto a wall. And just taking this leg out and in, the other leg be straight. Three. Good. Two. Hold this one up. And I'll kick my seat. Lengthen. Lower. Got it. Sometimes your back toes get cranky and don't want to be flat to the floor. Bam. Hopefully you were drinking water throughout the workout. And before your workout, you should be drinking water, yes. And continue drinking water after your workout. We've got two more. You're so close. You are so close. Good. And one more. We lift, kick, then push off your hand and that leg. Bring yourself up. Wrap around and stretch. Lovely stretch. Back to your T. Melt those shoulders. Other side. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Bring it back around. Lower those arms. And we're going to do some stretches now. Yay! <laughs> Let's take it down to the floor. We're going to start with our left leg straight and the right ankle crossed over that quad. I got a hand by the knee, a hand by the ankle. I'm going to flat back forward and then round. And this stretch here is for your glutes. And it's the right glute that should be feeling this stretch. And you'll bring yourself up and we'll take that leg straight. Right leg straightens, left ankle crosses over the quad, hand by the knee, hand by the ankle, flat back, round. Breathe. And just enjoy that stretch in that glute. And from your core, you pull it back up. Inner thighs, let's take the feet together. Grab onto your ankles and your elbows will push the knees down. And again, you're gonna relax the neck and the shoulders. And just enjoy this inner thigh hip flexor. And I want you to grab onto your band. And I want you to put it behind your right foot. We're gonna quickly go through this. And we're gonna lie back with this right leg straight up. And I'm gonna pull it towards me. So the elbows can go out, they can come down. Just push into that band, lengthen as far as you can. Try to have both legs straight, okay? For the next exercise, we're gonna do the, um, the IT band, outer thigh. So my left hand's gonna be in the band and my right arm goes out like a T. Now I'm gonna to start to pull my elbow towards the floor and my, my right leg is going to go across my center but I'm not going to lift my butt I'm not going to let my hip lift up okay and you choose how much resistance you've got on that band and I'm going to keep going my butt's going to peel off my back's going to start to peel off but my right shoulder's heavy and I'm just stretching through my back bring it back up and put your left foot in the band Lengthen both legs and pull this leg closer towards you. Try to lengthen the back of that leg as best as you can. Breathe through your stretches. And then the right hand's gonna stay in that loop. The left arm goes out. Then I'm just gonna take this leg across, but I'm gonna try to keep my hip and my butt down. So you feel that stretch here, hopefully. But some people still tell me they feel it in the back of their legs. And I'm going to look away from that leg as I stretch it the rest of the way. My butt peels off the mat. My back is peeling off the mat. But my shoulder's heavy. Good. Bring it back in. Two hands on. We're going to rock ourselves up. And guess what? Your loop-in workout is done. You made it. Woohoo! All right. Stronger you. <laughs>